right, I'm gonna give you the Edison manual. These are for the original Thomas Edison nickel iron alkaline batteries. <clears throat> I'll give you the manual and then I'm gonna show you a real example of one of these. So if you wanna wait uh, for the end of the video, or if you want to fast forward it, you can. So I'm just going to slowly scroll through this so you can see what you need to see. You can pause it where you can need to pause it. So someone long ago scanned this up along with the story that they had found some that had been uh, put away and uh, Anyway, long story short, the person got him working again. Anyway, this is a, it was an image, it was images and I'd turn them into a PDF and now I'm turning them into a YouTube video, so one way or another the info is getting where it needs to go. There's only a certain section of the population that are interested in uh, this sort of technology. And so, <clears throat> I don't expect this video to be that popular, but anybody searching for an Edison battery manual, hopefully it'll come up with this. And if this isn't exactly what you want, at least it'll get you in the ballpark. Yeah, ideally, you would get a PDF manual and uh, as soon as I have more time, I plan to make a big information uh, library on these things. Um, <clears throat> but until then, this this might be a little stopgap. Who knows? It might kill over and never get to that. But uh, it's important to have something to go off of. <clears throat> now remember. If you can handle holding through this, kind of going a little fast, you'll you'll have to pause it where you need it. Um, go a little fast here because I don't want the video to be too long. But uh. People are selling these things uh, without knowing what they're what's going on. So hopefully this will uh, make things a lot easier on the sellers and the buyers um, and the restorers. Uh, <clears throat> here's my problem: I paid uh, almost four hundred dollars for a battery, and uh it was the wrong type and that's what I'm going to show you uh, I was looking for a certain type and I, I didn't I thought it was an A type I got I was looking for and I actually got Santa B type because I didn't know to talk or listen or uh, you know it was one of those not enough information relayed between the buyer and the seller thing so Pay attention here, the far left are the actual designs, A, B, and G, um, and I guess it goes to L here. So I'm going to show you where you'll find that on the battery in Edison cell, sorry. They're considered cells individually in the battery when they're in a 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt, 48 volt configuration. Okay, let's go check one out. <clears throat> we'll take you outside where the uh, the lights a lot better. Put on my shoes. I'm one of those people that don't wear shoes in the house. It's nasty to bring outside stuff inside your house. <clears throat> mm 
Okay. First of all, when you're looking at an Edison battery, if it comes in a wood crate, this is all I got. Was I got this off of eBay. And the pictures aren't clear. Here's a hint. This is something I figured out. Look at the amount of screws that are on these side dockets here. You see there's two? Well, I've seen another one. They had three. So pay attention to the amount of screws. That'll help you if you can't get more info. So this is, this is a, I should have a ruler right here. I'm not, but you can see by the size of my hand. That's what they did for horses, right? Hands high, about the size of that. So the battery itself, and I just got this today, is right here. Let's see this goes on like so ideally there'd be a crate and see how those holes line up with the, the battery well I do it's just not in this case because there's no slide at the bottom but you get you get the drift if you're if you're uh, not too slow Okay, so let's look at the codes that I was talking about. See right here? B4H, right? So Bravo 4 Hotel. That's the size of this thing. Over here is the date code. I don't know. I want someone to post online what these are. I don't know. Currently, it's uh, March 2017, so if someone could publish a list what those are, that'd be great. But that's what you want to ask the seller right there, what does that say? And then remember that list I showed you off that manual, that'll tell you what you're doing, what you're getting at. These are some of the terminals. That f I think that's hard rubber, maybe from age, obviously from age. Here's what the cap looks like. Right. Here's another terminal. And you notice that color? That's black and that's red. Positive and negative. See, there's a plus there for positive. And I don't know if, yeah, that probably is. See the negative for negative? I'm assuming that's what that is. I'm not sure. So let's look at the hatch. The hasp. So it's a tension hasp. And there's a cotter pin in there. And you see where the nickel plate is flaking off. I looked in there at the light, and uh, I don't have one right now, but bone dry. The plates look good. It's heavy for its size. So it's basically nickel plated steel. It's held up pretty good. That was that was the original price. I got them down to about 300 and it was about 400 shipped. Way overpriced, but I, I thought I needed a cell. But it's actually too small for what I need. I actually need an alpha cell. An alpha 4H. That Bravo was obscured and I just went ahead and bought it anyway. I needed an Alpha, not a Bravo. So this is just kind of a odd duck right now.
But if anybody wants to trade a uh, an alpha for this Bravo 4H, let me know. So hopefully this solves a lot of questions. You see, that's a bolt. Let's let's watch what happens with the tension. That you can feel the tension. All right? See what's going on. So I don't want to scratch this up in the concrete too much at all, actually. <laughs> so hopefully this will help people. Not make the mistake I made. $400 mistake buying the wrong one. So, thanks for watching. This is the Military Industrial Museum on the YouTube. And, uh, give you a little view of some of the projects that I'm backlogged on.